Great nines, welcome to my video. This is a quick recap to talk about our previous work. So when we look at the demand and supply graph, it's always important to remember how to draw it. It's always about the relationship in demand and supply between two items. It is price or two elements, which is price and quantity. Price will always be on your vertical axis and quantity will always be on your horizontal axis. And you have to plot it in relationship to each other. And you always have a table, for example, this table would um, implement or would look something like this. If you have um, price here and quantity here, let's quickly recreate this table at one, two, three, four. At one rand, the de quantity demand is um, at four, at two rand the quantity demand is three, at three rand the quantity demand is two, and at four rand the quantity demand is one. So it's always the relationship between the two. For supply, it looks a bit different, and therefore there's always a um, change, uh, and it look, it's actually the opposite. For one, it's one. For two, uh, it's a direct relationship, like we said in the previous video. But today, it's, we talk about a change in the quantity demand. What happens if there's a change in the quantity of a demand of a product? So let's say people don't have the ability to, um, what would happen, what would be the cause of if there's a change in quantity demand? So let's look at demand. Let's say I would uh, start at one rand, right? If my product costs one rand, the demand for a product would be four units. We all agree on that. But now I want to increase my price. So what happens from one rand to two rand? My quantity demanded will change. So now there's a upward movement, right? My, there's a shift on my demand line. Can you see that? There's a less of a demand. And the opposite is quite true. If I reduce my price from four rand to three rand, I get another uh, feel. There's a shift on the demand line. So this is change in quantity demanded. The same goes for supply. If there's an increase in my prices, all right, then I would see an increase in my supply. That's a change in quantity supply. But if there's a decrease in my price, there will also be a decrease in my quantity supplied. So this is what you need to know. This is not a change in supply, but it's a change in my quantity supply, change in my quantity demanded. All right, watch the next video as we talk about the increase and decrease in demand and supply.